winter. It's cold, it's gray, and the ice of Boston, as you may have heard, is muddy. But if there's one good thing to be said about winter, it's this. All those layers you have to wear make it a lot easier to carry your gadgets around. I'm Mr. Mubble, and these are the latest winter wearables to help you do just that. First, let's talk about the cornerstone of currency carrying in America today, the humble wallet. My summertime carry is this tiny number from Newbury Comics, and while I like its slim construction, that also makes it easy for a careless guy like me to lose, and it's too small to comfortably cram a tile into. Enter the Wally Smart Wallet, a conventional-looking billfold with a secret hidden beneath its stitched leather exterior. Fire up the companion app on your iPhone or Android device, and you can connect to Wally's Bluetooth module, creating an invisible link between your phone and wallet. If you leave your wallet behind accidentally, or someone tries walking off with it, your phone gives you a notification, and the wallet can be set to emit a pretty loud alarm, too. Conversely, if you can't find your phone, a double tap on the wallet will make it ring. I want to love the Wally Smart Wallet, but I think I like the concept better than the execution. For one thing, the wallet itself is big. If you don't have a lot of layers to hide it in, it's a beast to carry in a pocket. But the real problem with this thing is its tendency to sound false alarms. Some of these you learn to avoid, like sitting down too sharply, it's often perceived as a double tap. So there are settings to help with that. But even just sitting there, the phone and wallet will lose and re-establish connection several times an hour, sounding off each time. Presumably, this is why the app includes Wi-Fi safe zones, but that only helps when you're at home or the office. Very quickly, all the false alarms convert the number one reason you buy the Wally Smart Wallet into the number one reason you want to stop using it. It's possible I got a bad unit, or that later batches will correct for this, but as of now, I can't recommend it. So here's another idea. Strap your wallet right to your torso, like a sidearm. The LD West Original has been one of my favorite bits of techno fashion since it debuted a couple years ago. It's a suspender-mounted pair of holsters, one for your wallet, one for your phone, that takes the weight off your pockets and makes you feel like some kind of tech detective from the year 3000. The original comes in many different trims, from cognac leather to cool canvas to more exotic options. You choose one of three pouch sizes to fit your phone, and you don't have to worry about size matching your wallet because the original comes with one. It's a little small for American bills, but otherwise it's just beautiful, like the rest of this marvelous monster. I've been wearing the original on and off for a while, mostly at trade shows. Yes, I've gotten strange looks from folks on the street, and I've trained myself not to suddenly lunge for my phone or wallet in places like airports. Obviously, the LD West original isn't for everyone, especially at its price point. But say what you will about the looks, it's practical. It really does free up pocket space, and makes it much easier to get at your phone or wallet when you're crammed into a car, plane, or train seat. You just need to be cool with taking your look closer to the edge. If you're edgy enough to carry a Surface Book, but not enough to pull off the LD West original, then the Brent Haven Collins Vertical Messenger might be the bag for you. Fun fact, this wasn't even supposed to be in the video, but I added it to the rundown after I had dinner with Windows Central's Daniel Rubino and couldn't take my eyes off his bag the whole time. Rubino compares it to an envelope, good for mailing a letter, but not a book, and I think that analogy is right on. This bag isn't big enough to comfortably accommodate a big power brick or a surface dial, but it's got everything you need for a quick day trip down to the local coffee shop with your Surface Pro or Surface Book, including a mini pocket for an Arc mouse and a dedicated slot for the Surface Pen. I love how well thought out this bag is, and I adore its looks. And whether you get the cheap version on Amazon or the pricier one from the Microsoft Store, it's still the most affordable thing on this list. If you have any of the portable Surface machines, and you don't need to cart your charger everywhere you go, it may well be the bag for you. Finally, no wearable video would be complete without something from the folks at ScottyVest. 
The original name in pocket-packed pelts provided yours truly with a version of its OTG jacket back in the fall, and I've been wearing it ever since. The good stuff? It's got low-key color options and a conventional cut, but pronounced enough quilting to let me pretend I'm wearing a field jacket from Star Trek Enterprise. It's warm enough for a wintry walkabout, if not a really biting blizzard. It's lightweight, treated for water and stain resistance, and of course, it's absolutely loaded with pockets. In fact, you can fit nearly all the technology featured in this video into the OTG jacket, with the exception of the Surface Book, and still have room for more. Of course, it gets awkward lugging around that much weight, but it's nice to know the capacity is there if you need it. If you've got a super lightweight tablet or convertible like the Lenovo Yoga Book, it's totally doable. The downsides? Well, as with most things Scotty Vest, this is an expensive garment, and some of the conveniences you're paying for, like the ability to keep a bottle of water upright in your pocket with an elastic strap, I find to be of dubious usefulness. Also, after just a few months, the stitching is starting to get pilly at points where I rub against seat packs and such. And some of the pocket zippers catch on their flaps an annoying problem I've encountered on other Scotty Vest products. So, while I like the OTG jacket on the whole, and would absolutely buy it for myself, or a similarly gadget-loaded friend, I'd wait until it came down a little in price to do so. Fortunately, Scotty Vest is by no means allergic to promotions. That's it for this installment of Winter Wearables, folks. Check the description for links to all the products you saw in this video, and hey, I'm always on the lookout for new ways to carry the umpteen gadgets that make my mobile life work, so ping me in the comments with your suggestions for cool carry-alls, and maybe they'll make the next installment of this series. Until then, thanks for watching, and stay mobile, my friends.